explosion into Top 40 Radio? Uh, actually, uh, we would go out and sell live shows one right after the other, but we had talked to Gordon McClendon and saying, hey, uh, why don't we just play records? Uh, it, it'll be great. And uh, we, we copied uh, the uh, Lucky Strike Hit Parade in a, in a measure. In other words, we started playing hit tunes and calling them, our, our disc jockeys were called hit paraders. And we, we called everything, um, uh, you know, the number one hit, the number 40 hit, or whatever. But we didn't really go to absolute top 40 until Bill Stewart came to the station. That was the time I left. But Bill Stewart and I were very great friends, very close friends. And he really did play only 40 records. That's all we played. And it really established and positioned the station as being a top 40 station. And it, it, it took on. And as the, as the evening progresses, we will talk about the evolution into rock and roll music and everything that went with the history of rock radio, the stations, the markets, the jingles, and everything. Stick around. We're going to have Bill Meeks all night long. If you've got a question for him, you call 460-1520, area code 405, and we'll answer all your questions on the air. And also, we're going to have some of the most famous disc jockeys of all time on the telephone. You keep it right here. Seven here. This is Johnny Rivers and baby. I need something. Oh, I know what it is. I need your loving. On second thought, well, maybe I don't. All right. Second thought, I think I'll go down to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen would be bitching. You know what you want to talk about next? Well, what, what in chronological order? Uh, you know, he just asked me a question about Gordon McClendon and about newscasts. Well, well, that's on the list. If you remember, that's on the list. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, you wanted to talk about uh, black music and uh, yeah, that, that would probably be the, the next thing in, in chronological order. Yeah, that would probably be the next thing. We can. Uh, I think what we should do is one break, like every 15 minutes. You know, one every quarter hour. Yeah. And with that, that'll give us 24 different breaks. And that'll, that should cover just about, and some of them will be with the guys, with the disc jockeys. All right, so in other words, you'll play this record. And I'll play about three or four, or two or three, and then about 20 after, we'll do the next one. And we'll just do that, and then, you know, 25, two, and we'll do the next one, round the clock. And yeah, however, you know, one of these places, I'm gonna say, hey, I'm missing the commercial. Why don't we play the commercial? <laughs> there you go. Uh, this is great. This is great. You think you're getting it? Oh, yes. You know, I wish that they'd make a movie about, you know, Top 40 Radio as they did, you know, for American Hot Wax. Well, I, I think it should be done, and I really think it could be done. I'm if always so busy doing things for tomorrow that mm -hmm. I never get around to. Phone how's the uh, how's the TV jingle business coming along? Fine, fine. Is it? Yeah. Who are some of your clients? If well, Child and I in Oklahoma City, the, you know the spirit of Oklahoma? Right. I brought some of that music. Oklahoma. Hey, Ricky. Hi. Can I talk to Bill? Talk. Uh, Bill. Yeah. I'd like to ask you when the uh, structured radio came into being. Well, uh, the clock itself came into being really with, uh, I think, more of the Schaefer system. And, uh, you know, today I hear people talking about <coughs> Windows, you know, when they're Rick. talking about computers. And back in those days, Rick. you had to edit, um, for the commercials, you'd come out with music and you, you would go to a, uh, a window. <laughs> and uh, the window was where you did commercials. That, the light was shining through it and you would click on the, the commercial. And, uh... Hold so on, now we, I got to talk. <clears throat> Come with chime time right now. We got 12 minutes after the hour of 9 o'clock. Got Bill Meeks on the program and some very, very famous disc jockeys coming up very, very shortly as the evening progresses. If you've got a question for Bill or for the famous disc jockeys, including Dan Ingram, if we everything works out, and uh, Rick Shaw, 
and Barney Pippen, Jack Armstrong. Give me a call at 460-1520, area code 405. We want to hear from you all over the 22 western states and Canada. And I'm just so excited I'm going to read a message. I want you to listen Monday for details on how you can win a summer vacation on Coma, your summer vacation station. Fun love in 1520. Let's go back to 1962 with Ray Stevens. Talking about Ahab the Arab in the middle of a solid gold weekend on Coma. Okay. Hello? 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 Yeah, hi. Hello. 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 Oh, he's fine. <laughs> That's, that's true. Uh, yeah, you're really talking about Bill Drake and the and that type of thing. Yeah. I uh, am the computer. No, I am the computer. Uh, the Actually, uh, Bill Drake is the guy that really put in the uh, that format, and basically he started it at KSTN in Stockton, and we did the same kind of jingles, and the jingles were originally meant to be like three people standing behind the jock saying 93 KHJ, yeah. weather, or 93 KHJ, traffic, or whatever. In other words, they were supposed to feel like they were right in the studio. Right. And, um, and we had a crowd on radio, but it's still Ricky to take out here. That's a compliment, Ricky, by the way. Thank you. I'll take anything I can get. I understand that. <laughs> I got, we got another phone call we got to go to. Ricky, will you play the birthday thing for me for that time? All righty, I'll say happy birthday to you. Take Three. care. Okay. Bye -bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Coma. Uh, yes, uh, are you going to have uh, M.D. Kelly on the program? Uh, no, we're not. Or some of the other DJs. Dan Ingram, Barney Pip, Jack Armstrong, and uh, Rick Shaw. Rick Shaw? From WQAM in Miami. Stores Broadcasting, who owned this radio station in the 60s. Yeah. Uh, you have a question? You have a question for Bill? Uh, yeah, I was wondering, uh, when did he get, uh, when did he start IDN, uh, this job? Uh, 19, uh, <coughs> about 1954. 54? Yes. We did, we did an entire package around uh, introductions to the disc jockeys. Are you going to have any of those that you did on Cable May? Well, like, we'd have to ask Rick. I, uh, uh, we've, we've got, uh, not the fifth, not the fifty-four stuff we don't have, uh, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna play some interesting stuff tonight. Okay. Thanks for calling. Bye. -bye. <coughs> Ray Stevens on Fun Love and fifteen twenty in the Saturday night. In the middle of a solid gold weekend, we've got Bill Meeks on the program, and as I said before, if you've got something you want to ask, 460-1520, area code 405, and we're going to be doing this all the way till 3 in the a.m. Oh, no. I know what this means. I'm so excited and ready. Woo! -hoo! It's not laundry detergent, but it is a Fab Four from 1964 on Coma. Coma. Did you play? Uh, uh, I dedicated a song. Not on this show. I'm sorry. Okay. You missed it. Bye bye. Yeah, there are people who are interested. Yeah. I was, I was really surprised. They asked very uh, literate questions. The hardcore people listen to the show. As hardcore as they're going to get. And this. Uh, let's see. 